Hey everybody, Bear from Stardust Gaming here, back with another part of our Total War Rome 2 Let's Play. So, we are in the next turn. Um, I went ahead and advanced between episodes, so we're at the start of a fresh turn. And it looks like our hero has ranked up to 7, so we'll level him up. What else do we have? War between the Brusai and the Daco Thracian Confederation. That's not good because we wanted to make both of them client states, and that'll be hard to do if the Daco Thracians absorb them, so we'll have to uh, probably get on that. Let's see, several buildings are complete. Our populace is happy, that's good. Some units recruited, and a harsh winter. Doesn't look like winter. Huh. But it, yeah, it certainly is winter. Right, so these guys are currently at war with these guys. And we do not want them getting conquered. Hmm. Let's see, we have the Nori up there. And I've got an army waiting right here. We do want to take this city, but as I said before, I'm kind of hesitant to have the Daco Thracians um, divided like that as a client state. I don't know how well it's going to work. But I could easily take this and deal them a pretty heavy blow. The issue being that they may have an army. We were over there fairly recently and we didn't see anything. I think their armies are gathered over here. I th think that's I'm where I was sending to Mandra. Um, they've got an army there. Maybe it's over here somewhere? I want to know who holds this. Let's keep moving north. Oh, I didn't mean to go through that forest. Whoops. I want to know who that is. The Suebi, okay, so we've got Germanic factions up there. I don't think I want to go to war with Germanic factions, at least not anytime soon. Uh, what else were we working on here? I think you need... No, you're ready to rock, actually. So this army is good to go. Oh, and they have... Oh, right, the hero is in this army. Um, warfare, assault patrols, assault town watches. Um, on... See, casualties inflicted on specified enemy units aren't that great anymore. Early on, when you have kind of trash units and one elite unit can make or break a battle, this is a big deal, but uh, right now, all the elite units are pretty much on my side, so dealing damage to one elite unit really isn't going to help me with much. So, I mean, that would be nice. What does this do? Let's see, morale, charge bonuses, and single combat assassinations. Evading enemy agents. Um, what is this? Line of sight, and this is gonna give me harass and raid. Honestly, I think this is the best choice. So, Let's get into Forced March, and we're going to try to get to... I don't know, to be honest. We can get up here. I don't know that we'll really be able to help them, though. I mean, not that they really need help. They should be able to take that, no problem. If anything, I should probably try to get them to the east, in case anything comes out of Malva there. So we'll move them that way. This iron, or this uh, province is still decreasing in public order. Um, it'll be two turns before we can get that amphitheater working. But, actually no, it's at zero now. So we should be able to hold on there. And in fact, I could build that to uh, help. Illyrian Raiders, huh? That's going to hurt my food. But we have plenty of food and this is going to help to that end as well as this so I'll build it we have like loads and loads of money too there's really no reason to be stingy 
Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see what the Illyrian Raiders can do for us. We've got other pretty cool uh, auxiliaries from Illyria as well, but I'm more interested in the auxiliaries over in uh, Thracia right now. Ready for orders. Let's see, 12 of 20. I'm going to recruit some artillery for them. And then, I think we're going to hold off on everything else, and we're going to go see what these guys have to offer, because I... I'm curious to see how well an army of um, pike infantry supported with um, like shock infantry like Thracian warriors would do. So I want to put together an army like that and uh, see how well they fare. Obviously we've got the citizen cav general here so we don't need to worry about uh, like an awkward hoplite formation in the middle of our battle lines. We just have straight up pikes and then we can uh, obviously throw in the Thracians. And we probably need, that'll put us to 16. Um, oh no, sorry, that puts us at 14. So, four more Thracian warriors would put us at 18, and then we could do two skirmisher cav to complement the melee cav. And I think that would make a pretty well-rounded army. What else do we have going on here before we declare war? At your command. Um... Hmm. I, I'm so tempted to disband some of these, but I'm not going to do it yet. Oh, one thing I did want to do is I'm finding it kind of hard to keep track of all of our armies because there's so many now, so I want to number them. And the way I'm going to do that is, let's see, these guys were founded in 269 by Cleomenes, 275 by Galenos, and... I think this is the first army here. No, they are technically the second. So, in that case, actually wait, no. Sorry, these guys are tied for first with um, Athena's faithful or whatever. So I'm just gonna give these like Roman numerals to make it easier to keep track. Ah, oh, damn it! Stupid Steam overlay. And it took me out of this too, didn't it? Okay. So let's see what that does. Ready for oh, orders. wrong army. Commander. Oh, I can't put a space there. Here we go. Um, why can't I put a space? Oh, because I'm at the character limit. Well, in that case, we'll just leave it alone. I was hoping I could number them with Roman numerals just to make it easier to keep track, but that's fine. Right, so let's go ahead and declare war. Uh, Egypt and Rhodes will join me. Rhodos, that is. Um, sure, we'll call them to help. Five. There we go. And... God. There's really no reason to fight that, is there? Go ahead and do that. And... Hopefully that's not like the end of the war because uh, it would be pretty uneventful. I'm going to loot because this is the only territory we hold in this province. And my general ranked up, so that's good too. Ready for battle. Let's see here. We'll give you some authority because you could use it. And what do we want to build here? Is it worth converting? Yeah, we'll just do that. Um... I'm going to dismantle that. What's this one? Oh, they really like those buildings. I don't. Over here, I think we're going to build the amphitheater for some public order. Actually, that's a terrible idea. We're going to build uh, the Traveler's Lodge for some food. Yeah. Because we are not going to take either of these, and so this is going to be... It's going to be difficult to get food in this province. So I think that's probably the best choice, and one of these might need to supplement that as well. But that's mine now, and so they've got two provinces left. Let's see if we can get them to end this war prematurely. Um, My time is better spent feasting and hunting than listening. Make clients so be stay quick low. With your chattering. What if I give you some money? 
Oh, so we can pretty much just buy them into peace. <sighs> They've got those two. It's not ideal, but... Let's see how little they're willing to take here. Wow. Okay. How about just 1,500? We might be able to make that happen. That'll make them a client state both here and here. And then we'll just make these guys a client state and the Apuli a client state. And that pretty much secures our northern borders. Um, obviously, we've got contact with Rome here. And then contact with the, uh, the hordes of the east there. But otherwise, you know, our border is pretty much solidified. So let's try it. Okay. I say no, but you speak well. Uh, I hope you soon speak with your newly state. ancestors. And we'll demand two that or sorry, we'll offer two thousand. And that was enough. I dislike much of our speed. So we've got a new client state. And that means we can kind of waltz in there whenever we want and um, take uh, troops and stuff. Hmm. They're also going to pay money to me. I can't tell them to stop that war, though. Which is a shame. Um. Oh, there's their main army. Hmm. Well. Well, well, well. I think you guys are up next. I can't move them yet, though. But I need to... I'll just move these guys north, I suppose. But I need to do something about these guys, because I think they're still going to be fighting it out. And I prefer a lot of this land didn't uh, shift sides. Especially if, if they get conquered, it's going to make things difficult. Uh, is there any other building we can do? I could upgrade that. Uh, let's see. 7 public order, 13 food. Not going to be a good idea there. How about down here? No. Over here. Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's check out the eastern holdings. Ephesius. Uh, there's a couple things we could build here. How are we doing on food? 7 public order and 3 food. That's going to hurt my food. That might put me... Yeah, they'll put me in a bad spot. So I'd have to do both of these. Which would hurt my public order by three. Actually, you know what? That's going to give me some food, so let's upgrade this. And... How about over here? We've got Auxiliary Hillmen, Eastern Javelin Men, and Horse Skirmishers. This will give me Skirmisher Cav. It'll give me food, obviously. Um, got five food right now, so losing two wouldn't kill me. And what about Tarsus? They're doing all right. Public order's fine. Food could be better. So I think that's a smart choice. And I'm getting a little bit low on funds now, so I gotta be careful. Nothing I can do there. So... That looks like a wrap for this turn. Let's go ahead and advance. And we'll see what happens up north here. But hopefully nothing uh, too eventful. Because I'd like to uh, keep things under control here. And obviously uh, go along with the plan that we've set out. Alright, our research is finally done. Anything else? Uh, trading port is finished. The Nori were destroyed. I wonder by who... Um, maybe the Romans. The Romans are one of their neighbors. Let's see, our populations in Asia, our populations, our populace in Asia are increasing in morale. Our ballista are done. Troubled populace in, in Pannonia. But yeah, I mean, we did just kind of sack that city. Uh, and unseasonal conditions, which don't really matter. So, new research. What do we want to take? Five. That's going to... Uh, recruitment costs I'm not too concerned with. I'd prefer to lower... Um, I'd prefer to lower upkeep costs if I could. 
That'll help with fleets, but I'm more concerned with armies. What about this? Morale. Um, that would help with naval battles, which I haven't really had many of. But we might have in the future. Six, six, uh, six, and six. And that would take five. So really our choices are this one or this one. I think this one is going to be the choice solely for the third tier of the Hoplite Barracks. So we'll go with that. That's and let's see. What do you wish of me? You're still raking in the dough for me. You have, aren't for some reason. Me what is best so we've been people. wasting that. Tax rate. Go in there. That's good. Nothing there. Head over the mountains here. And what do we want to build in this spot? Hmm. Normally I would go with outskirts, but this is going to be a difficult um, city to build up because it's completely isolated. I don't have any of the smaller territories to supplement it. So this needs to be just a single, very well-rounded city that... Uh, that I guess can kind of do a little bit of everything and be self-sufficient. So public order is going to be very important here. Food is also going to be hard to come by. Consecrated ground might be a decent plan here. I don't think we'll build a workshop. We might consider a practice field or maybe a muster field of some sort. Huh. Public forum. Let's do a consecrated ground there. And I think a muster field out here. Just in case. I don't know though. Because that is going to hurt my food. And that's a problem. Um, but being out on the border like this, I think it's important that they can build up an army fairly quickly if they need to. So let's go with the muster field here. And we'll see what kind of auxiliaries we can get there. I don't know what they're considered. I don't know if we'll get like Dacian auxiliaries, maybe Celtic auxiliaries, maybe Illyrian auxiliaries. I'm not sure. So we'll take a look and see. And we can always, you know, destroy that and build something else if we need to. Our income in continues to increase. Wow, we're almost at 10,000. I need to start building armies and navies and stuff. All right, is there anything else that we want here? No. So let's jump over here now. We'll complete this army. So old? I want... Let's see, a Thracian Cav. Is that better than Skirmisher Cav? It is. We've got Auxiliary Spear Horsemen as well. Who are... Not better than Citizen Cav. At least not significantly. Their charge is better. These guys are better at sustained fighting. Although they have better health, less armor. I mean, it's kind of a wash. We've already got Citizen Cav, so we'll just keep it. Now... The question is, what do we have here? Dacian Bowmen. Are they better than the Helot Bowmen? 35, 125, and 6. 35, 125, and 6. They're the same cost. Weapon damage, 10. Melee, or sorry, melee attack, 10. Weapon damage, 24. Uh, they're better in close combat. Health, 45. Morale, 32. They're slightly better, but I think that's due to the fact that they are rank 1 rather than rank 0. Interesting. We've got Helot Archers there and Helot... Oh, Slingers. Duh. Never mind. Never mind. Um, God, it's tempting to go with these instead. We've got Thracian Peltis, Th Dacian Spears. These guys suck, though. These guys really suck. Um, and then between these two, 
They have better armor. Why is the cost the same? These guys are significantly better. These guys are only better in charges. So we're going to do three of those for now. Oh, never mind. We'll do all four. Okay, we'll do all four of those. That'll put me at 18, as you can see there. And then we're going to do probably the Thracian Cav. Two of those. And then I'll think on the Bowman. I might do Dacian Bowman instead of Helot Archers. Just because they start at rank 1, where these guys start at rank 0. So they have a little bit of a head start. And it looks like... Uh, no, everything's more or less the same otherwise. But yeah, I don't know. We might change it up just because they look different. Okay, so what else do we have going on? Up here, we've already built these. I can't really afford to move my army off this spot yet. How's our public order doing? The military presence is the only thing holding this together. Although the provincial instability is really the biggest issue we're having outside cultural differences, which is obviously going to take a little bit of time to fix. We are slowly converting people. This building will help significantly as well as this one. Actually, no, that one won't help at all. Uh, this one will, though. But yeah, those guys are kind of stuck there. I don't know what's going to happen over here. Honestly, if these guys take that province, it's not the end of the world. But if the Daco Thracians take this province, it sort of... I mean, it's not the end of the world either, but it... I'd prefer to have two separate factions here. If any one faction is too strong, it's going to be hard to keep them as a client state. Uh, what else do we have going on here? We've got this navy over there. Um, this army was forced marching. They're not anymore. So, let's get you guys... Actually, no, they still are. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let's get them up here where they can actually do something. And I think we're going to declare war, conquer these guys, and make them a client state ASAP. And then we've got no armies in this vicinity, except for that one. So we might start moving them east into Turkey, where they can maybe begin the conquest of Bithynia. But they'll probably need help. So, until this army is free, it might be difficult to do that. How is the public order looking here? Military presence is 8, and we're getting um, 7 per turn. So, I think one more turn, and then we can move these guys off without too much concern. Is it worth improving that? 7 public order, 3 food. This is going to cost me four food. No, I don't think it is. At least not yet. Nothing doing there. Nothing doing here. We can take these guys off of double time now that they've arrived. And let's see. Is Cleosthenes my family? No, he's not. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. He's right here. Um, let's get him another promotion. Actually, I think one of, one of these guys is up for one, too. Yeah, him. Anybody else? Uh, we could get him another promotion, but it's going to cost me a lot more. So we'll wait on that. I think he's been waiting a little bit longer than Cleosthenes for promotion, so we might do him first. What can we recruit for this? Spartan Hoplite assault boats. Is that going to be worth it? Honestly, I prefer a more ranged approach with naval battles because when you get when you get in close, things tend to go bad regardless of how good your units are. So, I'm going to take like one, two. Just, we'll just do two of those for right now. And let's give another quick pass into the provinces in Turkey, make sure nothing needs upgrading. Doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, I don't need it there. Don't need it there. And good there. So let's go ahead and advance and see what the next turn has in store for us. So it looks like um, a few of our underlings are finally uh, 
negotiating peace. So Rhodes, I'm going to call them Rhodes. Um, I think in English, the the area is called Rhodes, even though in the game it's called Rhodos. I'm going to call it Rhodes. And uh, the Dacothracians. Construction, a couple of farm, a farm and an irrigation ditch. Coin maker and an amphitheater. Good. Our Thracian warriors are done. Let's close these, and it looks like our ships are complete as well. My um, let's see what these Germans nice. are all about. No, don't do that. Just kind of go it. scout them. As you command. So they've got spear levies, riders of the hunt. Sounds pretty cool. Germanic youths, youths, youths. That's a, that's a weird word. Uh, longbow hunters. Interesting. They're pretty good, actually. They're pretty good. Their uh, their morale's a little bit lower than the helots, but their health is the same. Their missile damage is higher. Their range is the same, and their shots per minute are also the same. Their ammunition might be higher as well. Their melee attack is higher. These guys are actually really good for like two more gold a turn. Uh, club levies. I wish these guys had. Um, Bull God portraits, Spear Brothers, and Water Naz Spears. I don't know. Should we? Let me know in the comments. Should we? Um, should we try to subjugate some German or Germanic factions? Might be kind of fun. It looks like the Romans did in fact conquer the Nori, so they're starting to expand north now, which is interesting. I wonder if they've completed. They have all of this. And let's see. No. They actually are losing ground in the south, so that's kind of an interesting choice on their part. Personally, I when I play as Rome, I like to solidify my southern interests first before I start pushing north. Which is sort of how it happened historically, I think. They uh, they dealt with Carthage before, you know, you had Caesar in Gaul and all that. So, can we leave yet? That's the question. Can we leave yet? I want this selected. Eight military presence, 11 change per turn. We are good to go. So you guys are going to head south first. We're going to force march them across the border. And I guess we'll just go for this, because we're trying to get them to the east. But yeah, we need to get them down here so they can uh, replenish their cav. Oh, can I not recruit because they're in force march? Oh well. We'll put them in regular stance and march them through uh, through Macedon, Macedonia. Um, next turn and we'll grab them some citizen cav with the uh, level 1 horses. And then they continue. They can continue on east to join these guys. Now we've got our Thracian warriors. We want two Thracian cav. And they're going to get the level 1 horses as well, which is good. And that's going to max us out. I think I am going to take the uh, the Dacian Bowmen, just because I want some variety. I'm trying to go with a very non-Spartan army here. I mean, obviously we've got the pikes and stuff, but that's, that's Hellenic more than Spartan. The Spartans, I don't know if the Spartans ever fully adopted the pike or the Sarissa. But, um... Obviously, we're going with a little bit different format for this army, and I'm hoping it'll be a little bit more fun and a little bit interesting compared to uh, a little bit more interesting than compared to the standard hammer and anvil um, Greek stuff. We'll we'll keep doing that with some of the armies, but I, I want to mix it up, make a few uh, other interesting armies with these auxiliaries. How are you guys doing here? Anything else worth grabbing? Let's see. Those are more expensive. Speed is 5. Speed there is also 5. And 5. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Some archers would be cool. They're significantly cheaper. 
Uh, we'll do some scorpions. And let's see. They're not moving. They're not moving. This army is ready to go. Ready for battle. So let's jump into diplomacy real quick. And if I can make this happen peacefully, I will. You honor us. There's but food enough for two armies are awaiting us when we have talked. Hello. If I declare war, it might go a lot more smoothly. Huh. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to declare war. So, let's go for it. That'll be mine. Uh, I'm just going to encircle them now and see if they'll surrender. Because I do not want to conquer them. You have the ear of my people. Do not waste words. We are uh, worthy of better. And... Oh, wow. Will you pay me? That's the question. Break trade agreement, break military alliance. Do they have one? They don't have any. Sure, give me a trade agreement and give me some money. Give me a thousand gold, no? Give me 500 gold, just because I'll kill you otherwise. Let's try that. Cool. For the good of my people, I say yes. They are really going to hate me for a while. From our talk. But not a whole lot I can do about it. Uh, right. So, let's see. While we're here, levy. Uh, we can levy some Celtic warriors. That's pretty cool. Let's see, what do these guys look like? They're probably most comparable to you. 28, 27. Melee defense is 56. 28, 42, 51. And then 45, 55, 51. These guys are better armored. These guys have better health. Okay. So yeah, we might be able to do like some kind of, I don't know, Celtic army. We'll see. And then if I swing through, I don't know. Let's head, let's head back this way, I guess. Make haste, men. But if I go up here, I should be able to recruit some units as well, or levy them. That is. What are you planning right there? I, I can crush you outright, man. You better step back. I'll steal this guy too while I'm at it. Um, let's see. How are we doing? Commander. They're done. Right, we already did all that. So let's take a look at these guys. And I think we'll go ahead and end the turn. And maybe the episode. I think we're getting pretty close to being out of time. So Let's see. Yeah, that's everything. So I think we're done here. I'm going to advance the turn. And I'll come back and let you guys know how much time we have left. I think we're out, so I'll probably just end it when we come back. But I will check right now. Yep, so just as I suspected, we're out of time. So I'm going to go ahead and break off the episode here. We did have some important buildings finish, uh, namely in the new city that we've taken. So we'll need to upgrade those and kind of further specialize, or not specialize, but further further plan out this city and then obviously we need to shift our armies a bit because we need to kind of redirect our I'm going to close this uh, come on. okay so we want to redirect our efforts to the southeast where we're going to try to take everything that Bithynia holds so Nicomedia Piscinus I think is how you probably say that and side city something like that uh, anyways, we're going to try to go for these three, and then we'll continue to make our way east from there, just kind of consolidating all of Turkey as we go. And uh, if we have to, we'll go back up these Sumerians as well. But I think they're they're holding out okay against Pontus, it looks like. As you know, they're not doing so great. Pontus holds quite a bit of land, actually, so this could get a little bit hairy. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Maybe we'll come up here. And um, maybe we'll come up here and try to help these guys conquer those so that they can kind of control the uh, the uh, sea up here. I think that's a good plan, actually. We'll, we'll see what we can do for that. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit, and I will see you guys back here for the next part of our Total War 2, uh, not Total War 2, our Total War Rome 2 Let's Play.